Hey there viewers, welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Yeah, it's a 2008 Dodge Sebring, Chrysler Sebring. It's all the same junk, I guess. It's got the big 2-4 on it. Need some rear shoes. You ground this one right down to the metal. And I uh, thought I'd bring it along. So here we are. I don't know where to begin, but we'll start at the beginning. We're going to pop some springs off this little guy. I like to use some needle nose vice grips. Uh, make sure you know where everything goes. That's what I'll would be my advice to you. Uh, take a picture of it, perhaps. If you don't have service data, ah, kumbaya, with your cell phone, pay attention to the orientation of the springs and certain particular shapes of the springs. Um, I usually don't tell people to reference the other side or take a picture of it just in case the job has been done prior. You don't know if the last guy did it, did a good job, or did it right, so that's always, a possibility but if you've owned the car long enough to know that she ain't never had anybody under its hood then not that the brakes are under the hood but you know what I'm saying we'll peel our springs off like this spring for example you know it's got the hook in it because it comes around the side of the adjuster if you put it in wrong it just won't fit uh, it'll hit your adjuster here so peel that out of the way there's our adjuster. We're going to get that all freed up and moving. Lovely. We'll use old Irwin here. We'll pop our little retainers off. So these are pretty easy, pretty self explanatory. You got a peg in a slot. You stick your peg in the slot and then you turn it, and it will lock onto the cup there. Same thing on this side. They do make a special tool for it. However, the vice grips are in my hand at the moment. So that's what we're using. So yep, you got them down just about to the uh, metal. Actually, they are at the metal. Who am I kidding? There's that. Set this stuff down. Now we need to unhook the parking brake cable. So get that little tug as far as it goes. Push your spring back and then pull the cable off. And we need to reuse the arm. Make sure our wheel cylinder is good. Make sure you can push in both sides of it. Make sure it slides. Also a good idea, don't breathe that in. Pull back your boots. Make sure, make sure it's not full of uh, brake fluid here. And get them back. Let's see. High and dry there. Where are we at here? And high and dry here. So if you have brake fluid running out of your boot, get some new boots. No, don't get new boots. Just buy a new wheel cylinder. Next is probably the most important step you could do. The brake cleaner. With power jet nozzle, this stuff does not mess around. Three seconds, can's empty if you don't put a straw on it. So, oh, don't breathe that in, folks. So we're gonna wash it. So that's most of it. That could have been in your lungs, people. Oh, the other thing you can do if you're not a huge fan of brake clean, which who isn't, uh, you could use, in the words of Chris Fix, some soapy water and just spray this down with water. We'll let that dry a little bit before we make sparks. <laughs> oh, we're close enough. If it goes up in flames, it would be a great video. Clean the little mounting pads. This is where your brake shoes sit. Get the rust and the crust off. There's that. Everybody's happy there. So that's good. Now we'll give her one more rinse down. But we still got a little bit left in our can.
run it clear now. Now we're going to send our brake drums down. To, let me try that again. We're going to send our brake drums down to Napper uh, because this one did get the groove in it. So we'll send it down there. We'll let them machine up. I don't have time to run to my brother's shop today. So we'll send them there. We'll leave the car sitting on the lift while we do other things. We need to salvage the park and brake lever, as some folks call it, or lever. So we need to spread open the little horseshoe that goes on there. Must have been a real small horse. Speaking of napping out of sponsor, what's up, dog? What's up? I got some drums here for you, young man. You got what? Drums. You know, like boom, 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 boom. Drums. I thought you said drugs. No, I don't have no drugs, bro. Yeah, no. Come on. We're going to take and transfer that to our shoe. You don't have to worry so much about never sneezing these all up. These fit pretty loosely. So we'll stick that on there. We'll stick our new horseshoe on there. Road dog, come here. Over here. We're going to push our new one on. We'll spin it around. Nah. <laughs> Josh loves me. Give me the old squeezeroo. You just want to pinch it down so it doesn't, you know, fall off. Now that we have our park and brake mechanism lever swapped over, we're going to put a little never sneeze on these little pads here. And then we try to do the job without looking like the tin man in the next five minutes. Inevitable. Can't. Not. Park and brake lever. We're going to stick it back on our cable. So we'll push the cable back up. We'll loop her back in there one way or another. And then that's all ready to rock and roll. We've got some new hardware. So we'll grab a new spring dingy. Whoa! One hit the floor. Dang it. And it didn't even fall in the bucket. We'll grab a new nail. Make sure you use new nails. We'll stick that through the hole. Whoa, there's that. Like I say, they do make a tool for these, which I own, two different sizes. You got the ones for the little import cars. And you got these big American ones here. So we'll just, nah, that's all right. I'm showing them how to do it the backyard way. Oh, okay. We'll be lying right up in there. Stick your spring on there. Sometimes you can push them down by hand. Nobody likes to show off though. Get them on there, get them started. Finish them off. Line her up in the wheel cylinder. Make sure down here on the bottom of your shoe, it's in the notch. You'll see what I'm talking about if you're doing it. And same thing on this side. The side you can't see, doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Get her there, get her lined up. Hold it with your thumb. Click that on there ever so gingerly. Push and turn and pull out. Now the old crooked spring. The old crooked spring. We'll hold that. We'll see if we can fish her up behind the other shoe. <clears throat> nope. Try to hold her out here on its tip. There we go. Now we got it. Now we're talking. Now we'll grab her like so. This one's got a heck of a bend in it. I think a little more bend than it's supposed to have. That's okay. Aftermarket hardware, what do you expect? Try this again. <clears throat> Struggle's real, folks. And then, whoa, I'm getting a trick from my vice grips here. Grab her right there. Let's see if we can't hook her back behind here. Get in there, you hunker! There we go. 
Got a little paint flashing still in the slot. There's that. Hey, buddy! <laughs> oh, Daryl. <laughs> That's why I didn't yell out the window. Uh, so we're going to take, we're going to unthread our adjuster here. She's not really seized up. It's actually in real good shape. So it's a factory grease on it. I think I'm getting punked on this job anyways. This guy works for the Chrysler dealership. He's a mechanic at the local Dodge dealer. Why his car came here to diagnose the cluster and replace the brakes and put his tires on is beyond me. Either that or he knows something I don't. I'm not sure. Not sure why he brought his car here to be fixed. Maybe just wanted to see it on YouTube. Maybe they're going to take it back to the Dodge dealer and tear it all apart. Use it as an example of what not to do. Alright, so thread it all the way down and all the way back out. Just make sure you work it a little. Put a little dab and never sees by that grease. Just so we can be certain we get it everywhere. There we go. Now we're talking. Thread that in. Now you notice the funny end. Not haha -ha funny. Make sure you put the thick beefy part in towards the park and brake lever and the shoe because your lever and your shoe are going to go in here. I don't really call it a lever. I just like saying that. So your lever and shoe are going to go in here and then your little adjuster arm is going to go out in this notch. So little notch out. We'll slip it in and then we will spread her open. Yeah, baby. Get that in there like so. All right. Then we'll get the old black spring. You know the old black spring? Uh, something ain't right. Something ain't right. Because you forgot a piece. Get our little adjuster arm. This is where our spring hitches to. Shimmo. There we go. Time to downhill side. So we will take, don't put it on like that. Flip it around. Hook that up in there. Oh, she's going to be a tight puller. And one, and two, and oh, and hook. Whew. Thought I was going to go through my thumb, but didn't. There's that. She should be all wiggly. And it is, and we're done. Almost. Just put the lower retaining spring on it, which I have found that the aftermarket one is junk. So I use, I have to reuse the OEM one. The aftermarket one, they did some, some funny business with it. So we'll just clip that on one side. Bring it around, clip it in the other side. And there you go, folks. Oh, son of a hoo -hoo. There we go. Got it. Let's gotta get the screwdriver. Make sure our adjuster works and clicks. Clickety clack. Oh, no, right. So that seems to work. Of course, usually you hit it from the back side, pull the rubber out, and then you can get in there and click around. Uh, of course, we can't do anything with that until we get our drums back from that or whenever. My boy Josh comes back with those, so we'll put this on hold and we'll go work on something else. And after we got our drums back to us, we're going to reach through with a little adjuster from the back side. We should be able to turn our adjuster wheel like so. Okay. Yeah, the adjusters were out quite a ways originally. Trying to make a video over here. Oh. That's all right, he's just trying to make money over there. So we have the adjusters pretty close. Feel them dragging, what I will do, we'll cycle the parking brake, make sure that works. We'll pump up the brakes, make sure they work. And then readjust again so we have, you can just hear them touch it. And then that'll be good. We gotta be pretty dang close. Uh, when your drums are cut, 
nicely with no ridge on them, you can get them pretty damn close. Um, and I think that's gonna be about it. Uh, I've got another vehicle to bring in, so we can't take this one on a test drive. And uh, that's it, folks. Hey, right, folks, so that's it. Uh, we finished the sea brain. It's a little weird. Customer standing there watching me, chuckling in the background. What's up, Mrs. O? How you doing, Mr. O? Uh, talking to the people, letting them know why things got weird at the end of the last video. Uh, they got weird because. It got weird because there's a customer standing here watching me when I'm trying not to be a weirdo working on a dang car. Talking, talking to, to myself. <laughs> He's like sitting back here like, uh, I don't know if I'm really at the right shop. Who was it? Daddy. Which he knows. He watches the videos oh, anyways. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow. We ended up putting the brake drums on it. You see this. We adjusted them up. So typically you adjust them up. If you don't want to have to back them up, adjust them up until they start scraping on the drum. Get up there, cycle your parking brake, pump your regular brakes. Uh, adjust them again because the shoes will kind of equalize inside those drums. Once you're all done with it, take it for a shake. You puppy, you puppy. Here's a good boy. Here's a good boy. Oh, no pee, no pee. Don't pee on it. That'd be bad. Oh, here's a good boy. Okay, got it. Nobody likes you. <laughs> he likes you. I know he likes oh. me. He's always trying to lick me and bite my face. Ah, oh, jerk. <laughs> so, anyhow, folks, uh, that's that. Pretty self explanatory, as I said. I'm trying to do an ending. Can't even do that. Adjust them up. Uh, get that all situated, take it for a drive, and then that's it. Just seat them in like you would a normal set of brake pads. Usually I'll cycle the parking brake on drive, make sure that works, make sure it holds, and that's that. Sometimes after that, if you don't think you have them adjusted quite enough, bring them back in, check them again. Um, that's there. I don't even know what else to say. Go down there in that comment box. Questions, comments, criticisms, concerns. Be sure to give it a thumbs down if the video sucks. Let us know why. Find us on our socials, Facebook, Insta. And uh, just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.